Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are joining for the first time, come on in. Today we're gonna to be talking about my new bag that I got from Louis Vuitton. It's the Nice Nano. It is the smallest Nice that they have available right now and it was released about two weeks ago, I believe. And I got it uh, about a week and a half ago, I think, and I've been using it. So this is not an unboxing, but it's just a reveal and I'll be showing you how I've been using it and why I like it and what goes in it. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I wanna get the measurement started. I wanna measure it for you guys. So you get the idea of how big it is. So I got my um, measuring tape out here. It's about six inches across. Um, let's see how tall it is. It's about four inches tall. And how deep it is, it's about four inches deep. And so it's a tiny little bag compared to um, my mini pochette as you can see it's pretty comparable the mini pochette is slightly wider but you know obviously the niece is a lot deeper so it's going to hold a lot more than the mini pochette so let's open the bag and see what i have in here already and kind of play around with it to see what could fit in here so i will unzip it like this and in it has a little sign that says made in Italy, Louis Vuitton Paris. I have my card organizer in here, which I use as a little notebook. I have my six key holder, my key holder, a mini Prada wallet, and two lipsticks. like that and I can shut it if you were wondering whether you could use a card coin card holder I can shut it and I don't think it really distorts the bag too much so as long as you're willing to put the card holder coin card holder diagonally and make you work maybe work around it like um, let's see could put my key holder there could put my uh, six key holder and this and my lipsticks like that i don't know maybe i'll try even the prada wallet maybe maybe it'll go this way and let's see if it shuts oh yeah it does now i wouldn't carry all that because i don't need to so this is a empty mini pochette but i kind of played around with it and because this niece is flexible it could go in here, but I feel like it defeats the purpose of a small bag to have another small bag in there. You know, like a small SLG that has another small SLG that's supposed to do the same thing. The pochette actually is supposed to hold, you know, doodads. And so is this niece, Nano. It's supposed to hold doodads. And so I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I don't need this pochette. It just eats up a lot of space. So I would actually just use this um, my keys, my lipstick, and a hand sanitizer, and sometimes a mask, and I can even put my glasses on top, and it goes in there like that, and I can shut it. So even though this is a tiny little bag, it holds quite a lot, and I love it. And I've been using it as a crossbody. Um, first of all, I also wanted to show you, not first of all, I've been talking about a lot of stuff. Um, I also wanted to show you, this is my daughter's phone case, and it's a it's an iPhone 10s Max. I can never get the names right. It's so confusing. But anyway, I feel like this is kind of pushing it. Like, look at that. It really distorts the bag. So I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. My phone is the Samsung Note 10 Plus. It's even bigger than the iPhone that my daughter has. See that? It's longer. And so this case, by the way, I got from eBay. It is supposed to be a Damier Ben look-alike, um, but anyway, it's so cute. It it doesn't fit, so I'm okay with that because I'm one of those people that I just love to hold the phone in my hand wherever I go to places, and I usually have outfits that have a pocket, and I just slip it in my pocket, so that's no problem. 
So that's not a problem for me, but I know that there are a lot of people out there who like, if you can't put a phone in your bag, it's a deal breaker. But for me, it's not. But this one is lined with a wipeable interior. This is the first niece that I've owned or any LV product with a wipeable interior. So I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I've heard many good things about it. It has a day code that was made in the 25th week of 2020. So it's relatively new and I love that. And I just wanted to really go over what I did over here with the handle. So I've tried so many ways of trying to um, make this into a crossbody. Um, I'll insert some pictures now. So as you can see, I tried so many methods, but I found that the best method was this. So initially, um, I first uh, figured out how to do this by watching uh, Chanel LV's um, Nice Nano video. And she was using actually the older Louis Vuitton straps that came with the boxes and she wound it around the handle and created a very beautiful um, way of carrying it as a crossbody while protecting the strap. thought, okay, what else can I use that kind of mimics the natural vachetta leather of this light color? Um, because I really like the combination of this brown and the light color of the vachetta. So I was trying to mimic that. And I realized that I had these shoelaces. And I thought, okay, let me try her method with the shoelace. And it worked perfectly. So, and when I need to hook a strap, for example, I have this um, strap from my old LV Sienna PM um, and I just strap it strap it like that and it does a good job of holding the bag and because the bag is so small and I hardly carry anything and um, the bag is lightweight I just carry it like that and it does the job perfectly but anyway, so that's how I have been using it. And um, some other methods, I interchange it with other straps. And so sometimes I use it just as a little um, top handle bag. Because this top handle is so tiny, um, I can't put it on the crook of my arm. So I just use a slightly longer, I mean, shorter type of a um, strap. This is a top handle strap that I got from Kate Spade long ago. And then I could put it in the crook of my arm and carry it like that. And this is very functional as well. So now I'm going to share with you how I tie the shoelace to the handle. I'm not going to undo this and redo it, so I'll show it with my Gucci Ophidia vintage case. Basically, they're, they have the similar type of handles that have the tabs on both sides and they go in and out like this. And so I will show you with this bag. Um, I want the part that is going to be tied on this side. So I'll start um, by leaving an end like this on this side. And this is basically how long I want my um, the little do that to be when I tie it. So I'll leave about this much and go to the other side, make a loop at the end like this. And this loop is the part that is going to hold 
the clasp. You can make it long, completely covering this part right here, or you can make it shorter, um, making the loop a little tinier. In this case, I will make it so that it kind of covers up the whole um, end part right here. So I just go under and wind it, and this is the beginning of the going all the way around the handle. So initially, I just make sure to get this area pretty tight so that this area doesn't lift up when I put the hooks on these loops and start carrying the bag. So I go over a couple of times and that tends to um, do the trick. And I'll just wind it all the way to the other side like that, just continuously winding it. So now I've come to the other side. I wound it all the way on the handle and I'm gonna turn it around and what I'm going to do is create a loop on this side as well. And I'm going to be covering about that much. And what I do is basically the same thing I did on the other side. Now this handle is bigger and longer than the Nice Nano. And so I'm able to just go once to this side. But this strap, not this strap, this shoelace is 47 and a half inches. And so what I had to do with the Nice is that I had to go I have to wind it, go this way, backwards, and then tie it. So let me explain that one more time. So what I did was, see how I am just going to tie it here? But what I had to do with the knees was I had to go wind it this way and then come back and then tie it because it was too long for that handle. So on this, it looks a little thicker and cushier. But um, if you get a shorter shoelace, you could probably use this method. And then now I'm going to just tie it. I'm just going to do a simple knot, simple double knot, and then I'm going to do another knot. Of course, you can take your time and make it perfect, but I just wanted to quickly show you how it's done. So that's how it's done. Now I can hook um, straps here and I can carry it as a crossbody. I showed you with the contrasting uh, shoelace so that you can have an easier time of seeing what I was doing, but you can also use darker shoelaces. You can use all kinds of shoelaces um, to get this done. You can also use just regular lace that you get from the craft store to do this. And you can also use for bigger bags like this, you can also use a twilly because a twilly will be, um, it, it will work with a bag with a um, bigger handle. But I found that using a Twilly or a Bondo from LV, it just was too big to wind it and it was just, just overwhelming. If you like that look, that's perfectly fine. But I chose to have a very clean look. So I thought that sh the shoelace was a perfect concept. So for now, I really like the look of this um, shoelace top handle cover up. And if you thought this video was helpful, please give it your thumb up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so that when I upload another video, you'd be notified. And until next time, please, please stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.